Hi, this is Miss Peggy at Belmar Public Library. I'm going to read you a story today about Curious George. The book is written by Margaret and H.A. Rays, and it's called Curious George at the Beach. I hope you like it. Hi, I'm Miss Peggy at Belmar Public Library. If you like the story and want to see others, please subscribe to our channel. And now, on with our story. It's very warm today, George, said the man with the yellow hat. Let's go to the beach. The beach was very crowded on such a hot day. I'm going to change into my trunk, said the man. Look around, but don't get into trouble, George. George started to explore. Someone had built a castle in the sand. People were splashing and swimming in the water. Nearby, a group of boys and girls were playing volleyball. George wanted to play too, but no one seemed to notice. So he climbed up on the net, and when the ball came his way, he grabbed it. What fun! George jumped over the heads of the players and landed in the sand. Now he could play with them. Hey, someone shouted, give us back the ball. Then the players chased George. He was scared. He dropped the ball and ran away. Now where could he go? Then he saw a lifeguard tower. While the lifeguard was pulling his boat out of the water, George climbed into the tower. George could see a lot from up here. George picked up the lifeguard's binoculars and looked through them. Everything seemed so close. He could see a little boy on the pier. Nearby, a woman slept in a chair. George looked at the little boy again. Now the boy was running. He was running straight toward a hole in the pier. He could fall through. George blew the lifeguard's whistle. Then he jumped down and ran to the pier. George reached the boy just as he was about to fall. George grabbed him. Meanwhile, the lifeguard had heard the whistle and ran over to help. Then George's friend and the woman who'd been sleeping rushed over too. If it wasn't for you, the lifeguard said to George, this little boy would have been in real trouble. The woman gave George a big hug. Thank you, she said. You saved my grandson's life. She turned to George's friend. Won't you please have something to eat with us? So they all had lunch on the beach. A hero deserves a good meal, said the woman. George agreed. The end. Hi, if you like our story and want to see others, please subscribe to our channel below. If you have any requests or comments, email us at library at Thank you.